2016 Mercedes E400. Also the same as the E63 and same as the E350 in the E-Class would be very similar. Um, so first you're gonna wanna remove the screws. There's a 10 mil there, a little grommet there. Pull those out, there's a 10 mil up underneath here. See it? Okay, next up, you're gonna to wanna to come underneath here behind the rear tires, there's a T25. And another one there. We're gonna do both sides. After you got those, there's a 10 mil here, right in the middle, underneath, beside the um, exhaust tips. On the side there too. Take those out. Next up, you gotta remove the sill plate. So there's a 10 mil down here. I remove that one. Then another one over on this side, take that off, and then it pulls straight up. Next up, once you got the interior trim out of the way in the back here, you wanna come inside and there's another 10 mil way down inside in there. You need a long, socket to get at it it's kind of a mercedes thing a lot of mercedes have this holding the rear bumpers on lastly you want to disconnect the wiring these two guys here and see you can Getting the tabs, sometimes getting the tabs to release underneath the bumper can be a bit of a pain. Um, they look like that. So you basically just gotta get something in and just wedge that down in between the little groove that it slides into. But it will come off, just be patient, don't pull too hard and you'll get it off without breaking anything. So with the corners on these E-classes, so as you can see there is tabs Three tabs there on the top edge meeting the tail light, but there's not actually a place for it to clip into along here, and it always wants to stick out here. Down here it would clip into those holes as you can see, but in here there isn't actually anything. So the only way you can do it basically is kind of heat this area up, bring it in a bit, and then cool it down without messing up the paint. 